On Thursday, June 9th, pop star Britney Spears got married to fiance Sam Asghari. This came nine months after they had gotten engaged and seven months after Britney had been released from her conservatorship. Under the conservatorship, she had been prevented from getting married to Sam and even said that she was not permitted to have children with him. But now she has been released and Britney has been hashtag freed. However, it unfortunately doesn't seem like she is completely free from her past as an uninvited guest attempted to break into the wedding. Jason Alexander, a man whom Britney had been previously married to for only a few days in 2004, made his way onto Britney's property and attempted to break into the wedding venue. This is not the first time this has happened as he has reportedly been trying to get into contact with Britney for a long time, and this is not the first attempt that he has made to trespass on her property. If you're curious how he managed to get into Britney's home, well, you can watch it. Alexander actually live streamed his break into Instagram and video clips from it can be found online. He begins in what appears to be a fairly empty room, telling the security there that he had been invited. I will mention that Britney did reportedly fire her entire security team after he was allowed in during this incident. Probably a good move. He was then detained by deputies after someone had made a trespassing call and he was arrested after it was learned that he had a warrant out for his arrest in another county. It was also reportedly said that Jason and Alexander had been armed with a knife when he had entered the property, though it's not clear if it was something he regularly kept on his person or if he had had some sort of malicious intent. Britney's attorney had this to say after the situation occurred. He's going to, I hope and I pledged my support, be very vigorously prosecuted. It's a very serious matter. This was more than just a quote, wedding crash. This was an intrusion. Alexander appeared in court through a video conference where he was issued a restraining order, requiring him to keep at least 100 yards away from Brittany, Sam, and their home for the next three years. He was charged with felony stalking as well as misdemeanor counts of trespassing, vandalism, and battery. He pleaded not guilty to all three. His bail was set at $100,000 and he is awaiting an upcoming hearing in regards to the matter. Spears' attorney also said outside the hearing, I want to thank Sergeant Cyrus Zadie, Detective Ken Michelson, and the Ventura County Sheriff's Office for their prompt and good work and look forward to working with law enforcement to ensure Alexander is aggressively prosecuted and hopefully convicted. This was an outrageous security breach, which I am livid about. But fortunately, Brittany is safe and she was a beautiful and happy bride. And a happy and beautiful bride she certainly was. They had their wedding at their home in Thousand Oaks with guests like Drew Barrymore, Selena Gomez, Paris Hilton, and Madonna. Brittany and Sam met on the set of the music video for Slumber Party back in 2016, and the wedding has been long awaited by the both of them after they got engaged nine months ago. Britney said that the wedding was an absolute dream and the party was even better, and she wore a custom dress designed by Donatella Versace. When fans made comments about the importance of the two signing a prenuptial agreement, a contract that allows both parties to select and control certain assets, Asgari jokingly replied saying, of course we're getting an iron clad prenup to protect my jeep and shoe collection in case she dumps me one day. Sam appears to be totally in love with Britney, saying leading up to the wedding, I have always wanted nothing but the best for my better half, and will continue to support her following her dreams and creating the future she wants and deserves. After the struggles and stresses she had endured throughout her life, we all want the best for Britney, so we can only hope that he's telling the truth and that the two will be very happy together, and maybe soon we'll be starting the family that Britney has wanted for years. As the two haven't even planned their honeymoon yet, it seems unclear what comes immediately next for the couple and we can only wait and see. That's all for today. I've been your host Woody, join us next time for more.